big crowd out here in Times Square for this guy, Kellen Lutz, perhaps best known for the Twilight movies. Well, now he's back in another high-powered film franchise, starring in The Expendables 3 alongside, I mean, we're talking Rocky, The Terminator, Indiana Jones, Mad Max, Desperado, and Blade. Need I say more? Congratulations on being in this illustrious group of action heroes. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Was it an amazing experience working with these guys? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm living the dream. I really am working with all these guys. They're, they're all my favorite action heroes from when I was a little boy. And everyone's just really, really great on and off set. When you, when you get to a set and you're looking at you know, Harrison Ford standing with Mel Gibson, <laughs> Antonio Banderas, and you have, you, I mean, all of these guys are so talented, so established. Do you get intimidated or nervous? Not intimidated because, you know, I never had their, their posters on the wall. I just watched their movies. So, you know, for me as a little boy, I didn't know actors played these characters. I just knew them as the characters yeah. and I would play them with all my brothers on the farm and in Arizona, just roughhousing. But it was just really exciting every day on set. And I have to hand it to Sly. He has the respect and he's built the career to be probably the only one who can ensemble or, or put together, yeah, put together an ensemble cast to this magnitude with all yeah, these guys. He is the best. And I love the story. He invited you over to his house to talk about your character. And uh, you had an in with his girls because of your <laughs> yeah. Twilight experience. Yeah, I auditioned for the first Expendables back in uh, 2009, I want to say, when the first Twilight came out. And wasn't able to do that due to uh, the shooting of New Moon. And then the third one came around, and so the girls had grown up with the Twilight franchise, and I walked into Sly's door, and he's like, hey, do you mind taking a picture with my daughters? They're huge Twilight fans. And I was like, yes! Yeah. I do this for him, he's, he's gonna do me a solid, and he did. That's great. And I wanna uh, give everybody a little glimpse. This, we have a, a clip where it really shows all of the action. Let me try to describe it. This is you and Sly. He's in the building, taking down a bad guy. You're on a motorcycle, and here is the stunt. Take a look, everybody. This season, pretty much. That's awesome. What didn't we see there? Did that all? How does that happen? Uh, you know, I, I'm a thrill seeker and a risk taker by heart, and that's why I love action movies. But that took a month and a half working with my stunt double Frog, who's an amazing motocross um, motocross rider. I, I did BMX growing up, so as we would just practice, we did four story jump, five story jumps. I got to do that one time due to insurance reasons. And you, like you, you just it. feel like you're flying. Yeah. And at the very end, you're kind of just floating because the rigs catch you from the crane and it's pretty surreal. Pretty surreal. This is also, I think, going to be surreal for you. The one and only Mel Gibson. So yeah. he, he, we interviewed the whole the whole cast of Expendables. What a group. And um, Mel apparently had a little problem with his chair. Um, we, have, <laughs> we have a clip of this. Do you guys have the video where Mel's chair... Uh, yeah, there you go. So now Mel has a special message for you, Callan. Oh, God. Hey, Callan. The tall one, Callan. Hey, listen, good luck, and uh, uh, be careful about the chair you sit in. I mean, there's a saboteur on the set somewhere. Um, I think people keep asking what you learned from the old guys, and you went, nothing. But I hope you took away that you should just visit the head more often. <laughs> Use the head more often? I have no idea, but I, I want I want to point out your chair, totally solid. Well, do you, do you understand that he plays the villain? So Sly and I actually, you know, took some divots out of that chair to make sure he fell. Well, you got to do what you got to do. The Love Expendables you, 3, it's great fun. Thank you so much for being with us. It opens tomorrow, everybody. Check it out.